Oh, no, nope. lost it. <laughs> Hello. Hello, Hi. everybody. We are live at the thrift store. I'm Jules. Alyssa. Stephanie. And we are going to show you how to find some cool stuff on a budget. So should we go through the stuff in the cart yes. first? All right, so we did start going shopping already because that's what we do. So we're gonna go through some of the things that we have found already. All right, I am gonna flip the camera around because we're really not important in all this. It's really just the stuff that we find that is very important. So I'm going to flip the camera around. Ooh, of course. All right, why is that light on? Can I turn that off? There we go. All right, so I got a bunch of stuff. So this, I got this. What did you say it was? Fondue pot. A fondue pot. Well, I saw cauldron. <laughs> so I'm going to hand it to you if you want, and then we'll switch. Like, So it comes with all that fun stuff. And what is that, five bucks, five ninety-nine? Yeah. Roughly. Yeah. Um, I got a couple of these for my windowsill because that's what I do. I got this because I love Egyptian stuff, and it is here. Some dragonflies. This beautiful vase that's beautiful. I love this plate. It's a great offering plate. Here, I'll hand you this. Start handing that things over. <laughs> we went crazy already. It's ridiculous. Uh, <laughs> As you can nuts. see. <laughs> it's okay, though. That's what happens when you come to a thrift store. Like, everything, no though, this one doesn't have a tag on it, of course. But it's probably, like, two bucks. Usually all these types of things. And then I got this. This is $2.99. But this is great for any kind of ocean deity and you type can also altar. Put on the yep, exactly. So Multi purpose. This one is a little bit broken, but sold. <laughs> you can always throw it. And then I got this because recently I was called the fashionista witch. <laughs> and I love it. Actually. Oh, and then one of these toys. Who remembers these? And I got it just because it's awesome. And you found it. <laughs> but yeah, there's that. Okay. So who's next? Uh, this is cool okay. um, I saw this. I know it's pink. We have lots stuff of stuff. Stuff like this, you're, you can easily like sand down, paint any color, put anything you want on it. It's cheap. It's wood. Um, What's the price tag? Was that four oh, bucks? Four bucks. And it's perfect for like little offerings. You could put can like you couldn't put candles on this because it would burn the bottom of the shelves. But you could put make this a crystal recharging station and do a lot of cool stuff with it. Mm -hmm. um, I also found these little sets of drawers. I'm just gonna break everything that I put apart. <laughs> um, for two dollars, you could take these little apple knobs off, sand this down, also paint it, and store herbs, other stuff in here, and it would be super cute. Did you work with that? Two dollars. Sweet. Um, <laughs> I found candles. Um, obviously, you can always hunt. Like a lot of thrift stores have candles. Um, usually nice big pillar candles, things like that. Really, usually you'll find some weird colors. Sometimes you can find designs on them. If you don't like designs, you can easily scrape them off. Um, just or like heat up a butter knife and cut right through it. This is not mine. <laughs> um, tons of candle holders. You could find a lot of really cool stuff with a lot of imagery that whatever goddess or god or deity you work with um, would love it. Um, but yeah, you got those. Um, picture frames are really good. Um, if you have ancestors or relatives and stuff you want to remember on your altar, you can put photos in there or, you know, photos of your deities, things you like that. The other two? No, I only want three. Let's see, there's three, a bunch three of... Three people that I care about that I work with, and that's it. Um, and then obviously more candle holders because I have a problem. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I think we all do. And, uh, 99 cents. Perfect. And the frames are also 99 cents. Um, more candle holders. I think these are like two dollars each. And then um, a little silver tray, nice and basic, ninety-nine cents for an offering tray. Perfect. And metal. Mm -hmm. And if you don't find, if you find like a big pillar candle or something like that, you want like you know something to burn it on for a candle holder. You can always get nice dinner plates. Most of the time, if they're ceramic or heavy like that, you can uh, burn stuff on them because they're heat resistant. And it won't break or, you know, hurt it or do anything weird. But yeah, those are the best Very ones. cool. All right, I'm putting it back because I was originally going to use it as a shopping basket. Huh? <laughs> that is wishful thinking. Okay. <laughs> so for me, first up is this weird little mail organizer, which 
if some of you are aware, I am actually building a storefront with my partner, Christina O'Hara. This is going to be great for display or filing system. And this is $4. So you've got the drawers, you have removable flanks. Um, I'll probably set it down to repaint it. Next up, for $6 is this, which I think would make for either a cauldron, mixing bowl for herbs, or an offering dish. Chances are it's probably going to be a mixing bowl for herbs since we are now going to be carrying those. And then lastly for now, like Alyssa with hers, this little cabinet of drawers, which can be sanded down, painted, handles removed for a dollar or $2. Same thing, store herbs and whatnot. So that's what I have. That's it. That's all, that's all for the shop. You're tame. Too. Okay, so now we're going to walk around. Should we just leave the carts and kind of well, just talk about things? Talk. Okay. So all right, so I'll take, I'll take the one with all the jingly things. Oh, yeah, someone did ask. Oh, no, that was my question. White dinner plates are common. Okay, never mind. Nice, heavy, thick, that's the thing you want to look for if you're looking for stuff for candles or anything to do with heat. Um, always make sure if you think that it's too flimsy or you're unsure, don't go with it. Probably better not to. Uh, Alright, so a few things I want to talk about over here. So we have something like this. This can be used as a vase in any kind of harvest celebration. And I think... We might actually get this for the group, but of course there's no price tag. Oh, there it is. Two bucks. Two bucks. We're getting it. <laughs> there's also these. Yep. Uh, yep. Exactly. Any kind of colorful vases we love. Oh, look at this. How did we not see that? That's two. Two bucks for that. See? And there's a few of them, so you can get a few. Let's see. This beautiful thing. That's beautiful. I love this basket. You could use it just to store things in. I don't know. <laughs> also, there are a, always a massive amount of candle holders. Yeah. I, I think this is enough. Yeah. I don't know. Yeah, there's, there's a ton. More than that? I'm just going to go down the line like this. <laughs> there is a ton of candle holders. But also, too, there are little statues. Of course, there's none right here. <laughs> there are little statues in places. Like, you could use these for altars. And that's beautiful. You could use that for an altar. I think it's gorgeous. If you like ducks. <laughs> well, that's beautiful. See? Oh, and there's another. Well, you can paint that. These kind of things you could paint. I'm trying yeah. not to go down aisles that have people in them. But here's a bunch of plates. And also, just a little tip, you could use the... Oh, look at that. It's like a trophy cup. But you could use stuff like this. For like tassiomancy, you can use these cups. Oh, look at this! That's cute. It has little legs on it. Also, tons of wine glasses. Yeah. I wouldn't use a wine glass for if you want to put a candle in it. I mean. It but it's has, good for your it's libation. Good for all, yeah, it's good for that. Kind look of at stuff. all these little things. You can buy all these little things, and if you have multiple deities, you can get multiple that look that are in a set. Okay. Let's see. I think we did most of our shopping already and got the things that we wanted. But stuff like this you can use in ritual. You oh, can look, use that. Little mail thing you can use oh yeah, does Stephanie want it? There's, oh, an, there's, there's another, another little mail organizer. organizer. It's a little nicer. So there's one of those. I mean, they got they have some cool stuff here. Some shells. You could use that for any kind of ocean. <gasps> this too. This, I love. This would be great to put wine in for um, for any kind of harvest ritual. But it is broken, so I, I probably wouldn't get that just because we're serving things on it. Cool cups. This would be great for an offering dish. Let's see. That's great for an offering bowl. <laughs> All right, I'm going to go down this way so we don't get anyone on camera. But see, they have everything all organized at this one. Oh, that's a nice little, oh, that's okay. But you can use, get vases, tons of different colored vases to go with all the different kinds of things, rituals, Sabbath. All right, so that, is that pretty much it for this section? 
All right, so the other things we do want to talk about, because oh, when I... Unless you want a little pumpkin. Oh, yeah, because like witches love pumpkins and whatever this thing is. It looks creepy. I be, love it. This is what actually it's kind actually of be cool. It's a candle burner or like some kind of insect. Is it a burner. snowman or something? Uh, Let's talk about this, too. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, that's, that's cool. That stand. I think that's like $5. Not bad. It's a nice little storage thing. But they usually have like themed sections. So um, there's a little pumpkin. Yay. You know, witches really love pumpkins. Yes, absolutely. Here, we'll go down this last aisle and then we'll talk the attire part, I guess. Hmm? Pumpkin. Oh, what is this? Ooh. I like that. <laughs> oh, wait a minute. Does the glitter come off? Yes, it does. I can't take it. <laughs> oh, my hand is glittery. Ah! <laughs> it's not what I wanted. <laughs> I don't like glitter that moves, so <laughs> we will not be getting that. <laughs> All right, so now let's go to the, the clothes section. We're going to zoom over here. And also, there's pictures. There's big pictures that you could get. Oh, that's pretty. For like a ritual and offerings and even just serving food. But there's like pictures all along the edge of the store that you can look at. I'm just going to go on the floor for a second so I don't get anyone in the shot. <laughs> but they do have all sorts of skirts and things. <laughs> okay. So, also, another thing I want to add is that you can, you can get furniture. This is a really... Oh, look at this. That's pretty. Also, cool thing. You can always take stuff like this. Yeah. Yep, that's exactly it, what I was saying. And then put a cord across it to give yourself a bigger tabletop. Exactly. And make an altar. You can make altars out of a lot of the stuff in here. I this would, You could even make an altar out of this. Even though this is a headboard, you could still use that. You could take the hardware off and use that. Yeah, that's beautiful. Oh, I think that's beautiful. I like this little even this little thing, yeah. What is that, $7.99? Oh, no. Well, let's see. Am I going to do it? Oh. I like it. Am I gonna buy and that's nice, now? and then you can paint it. Is that plastic though? Yeah, it's a little. You can always use contact paper. Yeah. Um, they make contact paper that looks like wood, just plain, you know, white or black. Right. Easy, cheap ways. I mean, they also make stuff that's removable. I'm trying not oh, to. Oh, am I buying this? I feel like I <laughs> If you can't walk away from it, then it's probably. Because I don't have actually any of This is a. This is interesting. I don't know what's happening here, but I like it. <laughs> Okay. That almost looks like moons and it made me stop, but it's a fan. <laughs> and it has wheels. And even this is beautiful. You could use this in your altar room as a chair. Yay, it's five bucks. Okay, so yeah, you can also get witchy attire. A lot of my dresses that you see me wear, they're all from the thrift store. Now, one that I wanted to talk about because it made me laugh. Although this one's beautiful. See through on the arms. This one totally reminds me of Drop Dead Fred, where she looks like a big bruise. And if it was my size, I would totally get it, just so I could say that. <laughs> but yeah, you, tons of different... Look at that, that's gorgeous. And I know there's guys watching, and you guys can still come here. But I'm just saying, for a lady witch on a budget, there's definitely a lot of options as far as dresses go. This one was beautiful, I thought it would be great in a ritual but also i lost i lost our people <laughs> oh this is pretty i actually really like that it's orange you can't tell but it's really pretty but also the jewelry i want to show a little bit of the jewelry and then i think that's a wrap we'll wrap it up but you can get lots of different jewelry at a thrift store to give you that witchy aesthetic that lots of people go for i mean look at this gorgeous and if you buy a bunch of them and layer them think about lethal off of um death becomes her that's why i think of when i think of all these but you can get bags all sorts of stuff all right so i'm gonna find my people hold on i gotta see what this big red dress is <laughs> little prom dress but there's a bunch of dresses there's black ones of course because we all like black ones but this is cool too i like i don't know I don't know, just some things to think about when you are thrifting. Woo, that's loud. You can get shoes if 
that's your thing. All sorts of options. All right, where's Stephanie go? Oh, she wants to look at the books. The books? All right, do we want to go in there? Um, and because yeah, I'm going to wrap this up. Back. I don't know <laughs> you, got, you have a good selection in there, though. But, yeah, we're going to wrap this up because I think that covers everything. Yeah, pretty much. All right, yeah, so... I'll get Stephanie, and we will say goodbye to everybody. Harvesting the jewelry, I totally do the same thing. And yes, the prom dress is a great idea for that. All right, so we're, we're just about done. So we're going to wrap this up. Do you want to do it out there, or do you want to do it in here? But this is another thing you could look at is books. <laughs> we're going to say bye. Okay, so we'll do it out there. Okay, so we'll do it Yeah. All right. So we'll come, we'll come out here. All right, there we go. So that is our little fun shopping trip that only took 20 minutes. Not bad, not bad at all. Well, we also had a game plan. So yes, we had a little shopping. game plan. You're not going, ooh, ooh, ooh. Exactly. Bye. Especially if you're on a budget. So. <laughs> right. <laughs> Next time I can rent a U-Haul, I'm going for thing. Yeah, you know, there's so many cool things. Do you want to come in and say goodbye? <laughs> we can't start with three and then end with two. All right, well, thank you, everybody, for watching. Bye. And, you know, get thrifting. Go shopping. Have a good time with it. It's very cheap. You can get a lot of cool things. Bye.